Hi guys, it's me, Lara at Tate Vicar Restorations. I'm really sorry that we've not been about, I've had two girls to take her over, over the summer holidays. So over the summer, you might have seen, but we've done a few shows. I love going to shows. They start from May, they end in October. The vehicles actually love road runs and stuff. And it's a nice way to show our vehicles and keep the history alive. So on that part, I also do my World War II reenactment as well. I'm a medic nurse, so you might see that in the next couple of weeks as well. This week, we're looking at this. This is a Chevrolet. So at the moment, we've done the framework, and in a minute, I'm going to be having you walk around and show you. See you in a minute. Right, guys, do you remember the Chevrolet, the CMP13 cab? This is her frame. So as you can see, do you remember before, though, she was really, really rusty in parts, and we had to, like, sort her out. This is what we've done so far. We have now done, we've replaced all the rusty bits in her. She's had a full sandblast. She's had a nice top coat, and she is now ready. So the next bit I'm going to be showing you is the front axle and how we come on her. I see right, you guys. Minutes. We're now going to have a look at the front axle. Before we look at her, do you remember I showed you the two axles, the front and the back, and how they looked? Well, now this is the front one. So this has had loads of bits done to her, bless her. She was really, really rusty. This front axle has had a, a whole new rebuild. She's had new bearings, new seals, new gaskets, a new felt on the knuckles, new brake lines and brake shoes, new cylinders repaired. The leaf springs has also been repaired. So these are the leaf springs here. They were so rusty. The ha All of it had to be taken apart and rebuilt and put back together. She's also been absolutely blasted from top to bottom and now she's also had her top coat done, which is where we're at now. So guys, thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Guys, one more last thing. If you have any Chevrolet parts laying about, please get in contact with the boys. Okay, thank you. Bye.